All right, welcome to Lab 24, Electrolysis. We're going to make some hydrogen and capture it. First, you need a metal piece and get it all nice and clean. It's scrubbed on both sides, and then you're going to wipe it off and clean it with a chem wipe. You might need a little water or isopropyl alcohol to get it nice, clean, and dry. Weigh it. And once you get the mass, you're going to set up your, uh, your burette uh, and put some of the acetic acid sodium sulfate solution into a beaker. And then you're going to use a red rubber ball, uh, an inverted beaker, and red rubber bulb. And using the stopcock there, you're going to uh, use your red rubber bulb to uh, suck up a bunch of fluid inside and then close it so that the air pressure doesn't push out. So it should look like this now. And then, uh, or, or like here's the electrical setup. You can see where the red and black wires go. Then as the experiments uh, run after you've turned it on, you want to start a clock and start measuring it here. And you'll see a bunch of bubbles coming from the uh, copper, curled copper wire inside. And as it produces a bunch of bubbles inside, it's going to create a lot of pressure of hydrogen at the top. And that will push the liquid down. So the pressure of hydrogen and there is some water pressure in there is pushing down on the liquid. But then there is air pressure on the outside that is pushing against it. So the water vapor pressure and the hydrogen pressure inside equal the air pressure on the outside. So this will keep running uh, for quite a while. And the water level in the beaker, as the hydrogen pushes it down, will come up. And it could take 10, 15, 20 minutes, depending on the amperage. And you can see the uh, hydrogen gas being produced that looks like uh, uh, white bubbles in there, looks cloudy. And then as you get near the end, you want to check on things. Make sure the alligator electrode uh, doesn't get into the solution. The red wire there uh, is hooked up to your metal piece, and that is going to lose weight during the experiment. And if it's copper, uh, those copper ions that come off, which result in the lost weight, will actually turn blue, and you'll see a blue uh, solution in there. All right, you keep your clock going, and then uh, you unplug it from the wall or whatever unit you're doing. That will stop the electricity flow. You want to unplug both sides, and don't cross your metal wires, or you'll start a, um, uh, a could start a fire in there. You can see the bubbles have stopped; it's become clear. You're going to clean off your electrode, wipe off any, give it a good rub with the Kim wipe, maybe a little isopropyl alcohol to nice and uh, dry it. And then you'll go weigh that. And you got to keep track of all the hydrogen that was collected in the burette. This is what it looks like at the end with a little copper ion made. You weigh it, go record every, everything in your worksheet, and uh, you'll be able to relate the pressure in moles of hydrogen to uh, the mass and molar mass of the metal. Thanks for watching.